closely. Look very closely and tell me what you see. But let your vision penetrate further than merely the fire and the smoke. It's hot. It's active. It's you. I didn't choose the form of this chemical inferno on a mere whim. The fuel I chose was sucrose, regular tabletop sugar. I chose this because you can eat sugar. It can be used to fuel the metabolism that keeps you alive. In this case, about 300 grams. It's about two-thirds of a pound. And that's about enough to fulfill the energy requirements of your body for a few days. Whether it's eaten and enzymatically converted into carbon dioxide and water by your metabolism or oxidized by chemical oxygen makes relatively little difference to the amount of energy released. This fireball is releasing about every 10 seconds the energy that your body consumes in a day. About every 10 seconds, it's releasing the amount of carbon dioxide you generate in a day. About a fifth of that energy goes to fueling your brain, the very brain which is currently processing the fury of the mammalian metabolism.